Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Ben 10 Omnitrix FX from the classic Ben 10 series. With a bit of a Ben 10 drought right now, I'm not sure when my next new Ben 10 review will come out, even though I've managed to get a few out. Uh, I decided to review this because um, I saw it and I realized that I never got to review it because this is the original deluxe Omnitrix release, the Omnitrix FX, and I got it uh, quite a bit before I even started reviewing. So I figured I haven't reviewed it yet. It will give something for the Ben 10 fans to watch uh, while we hopefully wait for new items to release. And and plus, this is one of my, um, if not my favorite, um, Omnitrix releases. Um, so it's obviously based on the original series. Um, you can see it in the original show, and you can also see it's pretty much in Omniverse. It looks a little different uh, in the cartoon, but it's pretty much the same thing in Omniverse in the flashbacks. Um, but overall, it's a very nice looking Omnitrix. I think it looks really show accurate and nice. Obviously, you don't get the full gauntlet back here. You have this nice plastic strap that hooks on pretty much like we're used to. Um, so you don't have the full gauntlet effect, but the part you do have looks very cartoon accurate. It actually looks like it just came out of the cartoon. Uh, the nice white here, the black and gray, the Omnitrix symbol here. Uh, very nice looking. Obviously, here you can see there's this little opening here, so you can see the silhouettes of the aliens, which I'll show in a minute. But that is how we selected aliens in the original series. But overall, uh, very nice looking, I have to say. I it looks very accurate. Um, it's not too bulky, um, and it's, it's really good for kids or, you know, kids at heart as a good display piece or just feeling like you have an Omnitrix. So it's got on, off, and try me. I'll go ahead and show on first because it's more important. Try me is just to try it in the store. Um, so I'll just flip it on. And then when you press this button, it will pop up and you'll get activation noises. So you can, as you can hear, very show accurate sounds. Personally, the generic sounds from the original Omnitrix are my favorite. I just really love the way it sounds, so particularly the activation noises and whatnot. So that's really neat. So you can see here, it's actually got a green light there, so it lights up. It's actually a lot better when you're just not have, you don't have a camera on it or you're in the dark. But you can see there's silhouettes for each one. Uh, we've got right here Stinkfly, Diamond Head. It also makes selecting noises. Uh, accelerate, Rip Jaws. Forearms, Grey Matter, Upgrade, Ghost Freak, Wild Mutt, Heat Blast, and then back to Stink Fly. So it's got the original 10 aliens. So then when you select one, you just press it down here. It will make those noises, and then it will, you cannot really see it, but it's actually cycling around the whole thing with lights. And it will stay like that for a while, as if you're transformed into an alien. And then eventually, it will go back and do a um, detransformation noise. And you'll see that momentarily. So it does last a good long while and it makes the classic sort of uh, detransformation noises and you even get a red light like in the show. I think that's really cool. Uh, the fact that once you transform it leaves on as if you're actually transformed into an alien and then it will deactivate. It's not at a random time but still very cool and especially for kids it's a really fun way to play. You know, you pretend you transform into Heat Blast and uh, then you play for a while and then you detransform and it's just like the show. So that's really, really cool. Mine is a little sensitive because it's kind of old, um, but very, very cool. I love that it actually waits a little bit, and I love the show-accurate transformation and activation sounds and the detransformation sounds. So when you have it in try-me mode, it essentially cycles through the random noises, um, and you can get it to make the various noises. So we're pressing the button. You can get on, transformation, and deactivation noises, so if you want to get to those quicker. But overall, honestly, I really love this Omnitrix. I know it's kind of basic to compared to what we've been getting from Alien Force on, because you have all kinds of different games, or buttons, or little gimmicks like discs, or figures, or 
button code so you can get the name of the alien uh, called out. But in the original series, they didn't call out the name of the alien. And I just really like this one because it's got really show accurate sounds and um, just an accurate way of operating in terms of transforming and then the, the detransformation. It's just really neat. It's a little simplistic compared to the new ones without all the alien shouting, but it's very accurate to what was there at the time. And honestly, I really like it. And if you're a fan of the classic series or the classic Omnitrix, I can definitely recommend it if you can hunt it down. It's really nice. Probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite on Trixus. But anyway, that's about it. And next time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. Till next time, it's Dawson Ryder, signing out.